backgrounds and lighting can make a big difference in improving the quality of your web camera TV interviews. First, backgrounds. Now, everyone knows you don't have a professional television studio in your home, so they don't expect the environment to be pristine. But you still want to make sure that the things that are behind you in the background aren't a distraction from the things that you're trying to say on camera. It's from Seinfeld. I swear it's not weird. Here is a screenshot of a recent CNBC segment that featured a lot of people who were doing webcam interviews. There are several do's and some don'ts here to take a look at. Okay, so for this guy, the writing is on the wall. Literally, on the wall, behind him, on the whiteboard. Numbers and words that you can actually read. That's distracting for people who are watching. They'll be trying to read the words instead. Here's another one I'm not a huge fan of. It's that chair in the background that he's sitting in. It looks like something out of Game of Thrones. And if your attention is focused on the chair that someone is sitting in, it's not focused on the things that they're saying. Another big distraction. I like this one a whole lot. The setting is clean and it's professional. There's nothing distracting in the background. You can tell she's in a home office, but it's in a very, very neutral and non-distracting environment. Now let's talk about lighting. The person on the left is a CNBC anchor working out of a home office who is clearly very well lit. The person on the right is the secretary of the army who is not. It's a big difference between the two. Now, you're not going to have the professional lighting of a CNBC anchor available to you in your home office, but if you look, you can see that the bright light coming through the windows behind the Secretary of the Army make him look darker, and the fact that he doesn't have any lighting on his face makes it dark as well. And when you compare the two side by side, the look is not great. So what can you do at home? One you can take advantage of natural light, if at all possible. Right now I'm sitting in front of a great big window that's letting a lot of natural light come in. Natural light is softer, it's less harsh, and it's also more flattering. So if you have the ability to take advantage of natural light when you do an interview, try and do that. If you have to rely on artificial lighting, one of the challenges is that the lights are up high in the ceiling and pointing down on us and creating shadows on your face that aren't really flattering. So one solution is to take a simple desk lamp, set it right next to the webcam, and there. Your face is more illuminated and you have a look that is much more professional and much more like the look of the professionals who will be interviewing you. So if you can focus on good lighting and eliminating um, background distractions, you um, should be able to make it so that all of your interviews are very, very professional.